In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up Media Companion to scrape for artwork and download movie trailers to tie together our automated media center after play later is done recording and I'm also going to walk through a brief setup on our movie TV show folder structures required for XBMC. So to start with we have our movies folder and then I have 51st Dates 2004 and then I also had the movie name 51st Dates 2004 and you'll do that for each movie that you have. Well actually AMC will do it for you. In our TV show folder I have two empty folder setups so that way I can show you how it downloads the artwork and then we also have How I Met Your Mother which I used which I've already scraped just to show you what the artwork it'll pull in and as you can see it pulled in the actors extra fan art and it went through and pulled in all of our fan art season banners and posters and then underneath that we have mine is called XREC which is my record folder for play later I add the X on there just put it at the bottom of the list and then we have our AMC text file which is easier to read with notepad plus plus but as you can see it puts in what it's already moved and named so now let's go ahead and we're going to open up Media Companion and start setting it up. So we want to find the Media Companion folder that we downloaded and unzipped and hopefully put in a safe place. We want to click on the Media Companion exec there. To start with we're going to go into General Preferences and in my case I'm using Frodo and Onward so we want to select that and click Apply Changes. Then we want to go and we want to select Movies tab and we're going to do Movie Preferences. I like to have it download the extra fan art and thumbs, that one's personal choice. Under general, if you want movie trailers, you'll want to add movie trailers and download trailer during scrape. I recommend leaving it set at the height of 720p, otherwise you can end up having a hit or miss whether or not it's going to download a movie trailer for you. And then we click apply changes. Next we're going to do TV show preferences. So we go to TV shows, TV preferences. Once again, personal choice for download extra fan art. And then we want to auto create sh screenshots if TBDB doesn't have any. And in this case, we actually want to set it to 22 seconds because of the watermark created by Play Later. So we go ahead and hit apply changes. We can go ahead and we'll jump back to our movies and we're going to do movie folders. And then we're going to click add movie folder browser. And we're going to navigate to our movie folder. And we're going to select OK. And then we're going to save and refresh. Now, as you can see, it takes us back to our main screen for our movies. So we're going to go ahead and click search, and it'll begin searching our movie folder for all of our movies and start scraping and downloading the artwork and trailers. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this runs, and I'll be back. Okay, so when it was finished recording or finished scraping and downloading everything, It'll pop up a log, but when we run the automated script, you won't get any of this. You actually won't see the interface in Media Companion either. It's just nice to use Media Companion in case you decide that you want to change the artwork. So we go ahead and click on 51st Dates, and as you can see, it pulled in our fan art, our poster, and it also pulled in our trailer. So now, and that took less than a minute for one movie, and I'm only using 6 megabytes per second internet. Um, if you want to change fan art or anything like that, you can go in here select the fan art tab and then just select the one you want to use and go ahead and click save in high res or low res whichever you want and if I go back to the main browser as you can see it changed the fan art let's go ahead and we'll do the TV shows so now we want to click on TV shows click on folders we're gonna browse for folder and then we're gonna select our TV show folder and select OK and then we want to click add folders from root and as you can see it pulled in Futurama, How I Met Your Mother and Supernatural that I had in my folder. And we're going to click save changes. And then we want to go back to the main browser and we're going to have to click refresh all. And as you can see it actually pulled in Futurama, How I Met Your Mother and for some reason it pulled that one in twice, I don't understand why. But we can go ahead and we'll try and hit refresh all again. There we go just a little glitch, no biggie. And as you can see we have Futurama, How I Met Your Mother, and Supernatural. And then I'll show you the folder, what it ended up doing with those. So now in our TV show folder it went through and it scraped our artwork in for Futurama. And it also did the same for us on Supernatural. Now once those TV show folders are added there, we'd be able to take and start recording our uh, TV shows so we can go record an episode of How I Met Your Mother and it'll automatically grab it 
move it and rename it and place it in the right location. And then Media Companion will download all the artwork without us having to look at the interface of Media Companion at all. Well, that should do it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.